Knitting is defined as the intermeshing of yarn into loops to form fabric. There are different ways that yarn can be subjected to the needles for fabric formation. In knitting, there are basically two systems. These are weft and warp. What makes them different? Let's take a close look at each one. Weft knitting is accomplished by loops formed in a horizontal manner by adjacent needles. The most common machine used for weft knitting is the circular knitting machine. This machine creates a tube of fabric in a spiral configuration around a cylinder. The width of the fabric is determined by the number of needles on the machine. One revolution of the machine completes one course for each yarn fed. A second type of machine can be used to produce weft knit. This machine produces fabric on needle beds that are flat, so it's called a flatbed machine. Regardless of the type of machine used, in weft knitting, needles placed next to each other knit one after another in sequence to produce one row of loops from the same yarn. Here is an illustration of how loops of yarn are created by a weft knitting machine that knits yarn in a horizontal manner so that the loops are formed from right to left. If you analyze the structure, you see a pattern of loops arranged in rows and columns. The horizontal row of loops, produced by adjacent needles during the same knitting cycle, is known as a course. The course count is measured by the number of courses per linear unit, expressed as inches or centimeters. If this drawing represents a one inch by one inch area, you identify this as five courses per inch. The vertical column of loops produced by the same needle knitting at successive knitting cycles is referred to as a whale. The whale count is measured by the number of whales per linear length. In this same drawing, there are five whales per inch. The second system used for knitting is produced by machines that are designed differently to vertically knit. This illustration shows you how warp knitting, in contrast to weft knitting, is accomplished by forming loops in a vertical direction. If you look closely at an illustration of warp knit, you see that the yarn is intermeshed vertically with two whales. With warp knitting machines, each individual loop is created from separate lengthwise yarns. Wound onto a beam from yarn packages in a creel, the yarns arranged as a warp must be placed parallel to each other. Normally, for the most basic of fabrics, each yarn needs its own needle. If 1,000 needles are used on this machine, there needs to be a minimum of 1,000 warp yarns. If there is more than one yarn provided for each needle, more elaborate fabrics can be produced. With warp knitting, individual needles knit simultaneously across the width of the machine. Loops are formed by needles knitting a series of warp yarns fed vertically and parallel to the direction of the fabric formation. Warp knitting machines are typically used to produce tricot, rochelle, and crochet.